All right, hello everybody and greetings from Springfield, Missouri. We are across today from a car wash with a fantastic name. This is Ye Old Buggy Bath. So this appears to be a older self-service car wash and not a particularly well-maintained one by the looks of it. There's also a for sale sign up front, which I'm sure is no coincidence with it not being that well-maintained. Very retro looking place here. See, we have two automatic bays. It looks like they both have, uh, ooh, it's a Mark 7 GTO 300. One is broken. This one may or may not work. We will soon find out. You can see the broken bay in there. The machine's actually kind of like stuck down on the ground. This one, the credit card thing is taped over, but it looks like the thing is still live. Let's see if I can pay cash. All right, there was a six, seven, and eight dollar with no clearly readable description anywhere of what those washes might include. Oh boy, let's see what we're getting into here. There is life, and the blasters work, kind of. I see some uh, very interesting home brewed repairs around the bay here. It even looks like the machine has very large zip ties on it. This ought to be good. All right. Well, I hit the floor treadle and the buzzer still works. Oh boy. Hey, the signage up there works too. <laughs> well, the front half of my car has pre-soak. Unfortunately, the back does not. Now what are we doing? Okay. Now I guess we're going to get two-thirds of the car with pre-soak, kind of. Okay, maybe it is going to do the whole thing. That was weird. Hey, we got there. Clumsy or not, it's actually a pretty good coating, so credit where credit's due. Empty pass, I guess. There's nothing on the status sign. That sounded good. Nothing on the sign, so maybe pre-soak. I guess. And I guess we're doing this again. Okay, so it's switching to... Uh, Jets the face backward. That's what's going on. Though I don't know why it stopped the first time. Maybe it did an extra pass on the front and that was it. But yeah, there's jets that spray forward and jets that spray backward. It's actually kind of a cool design. I didn't catch that on the first pass. That's probably the sound of the tire scrubbers. Which do seem to work. So we got those sprayers. And... Okay, I guess only the back tires get scrubbed at this point. Same thing, it flips backwards. It's actually kind of cool. We're going high pressure on the sides now. Huh. You know, 
this thing is actually doing a pretty good job. Well, there's a trifoam. I love that. Boy, every single jet on this thing is actually working and it's they're all working perfectly. Clear coat light just came on in front. It almost looks like they tied off a tarp on the top of the machine, which makes no sense. Maybe the roof leaks? Still, it should be waterproof. I'm guessing that's my cue to go, because it sounds like a dryer's just started. Yep, the machine does say drive ahead. I like the actual Mark 7 logo on it. See if these dryers are at all decent. Not really. <laughs> They're not doing a very good job. These are Pico dryers. Looks like these were added in after the fact. But then again, the uh, wash signage being mounted on them is interesting. Yeah, these dryers are pretty terrible. <laughs> but, you know, I have to say, that machine, I thought we were off to a bad start, but I just didn't understand how it worked at first. I know if I've ever really noticed that kind of you know, operation in action before. Now, a couple things going on here. First off, that machine is obviously very broken, but I love how they cut the roof out to fit that dryer in. That is hilarious. Let's take a look at the rest of this place. So yeah, you have your Pico dryer controls here on the back, so definitely add it in. And this side gets even more dilapidated than that side. It looks like these two wash bays do still work. They're not very clean or in very good shape though. These guys are no longer working. It looks like the owner might be uh, taking parts out of the ones on the end. Because I don't. I, it looks like a lot of machinery is missing and uh, this one even has graffiti in it. Then these two are very obviously closed down here. It looks like they might be used for storage now. Got a little graffiti on the wall. Roof's falling apart. Somebody probably clipped the corner here. So, I mean, everything pointed to this one being funny because the place is in pretty bad shape. It's for sale. One of the two bays wasn't even working. Credit card reader wasn't working. But the machine actually did a pretty good job. I don't know if that's more a reflection on the owner maintaining it or just that Mark 7 built those things really, really well and it's held up despite all this. But uh, not a bad system, actually. So, ye old buggy bath, at least the one automatic bay that works actually isn't half bad. 
not a terrible wash for eight bucks and it looks like the spot free water is drying off despite the uh, dryers not really doing a great job so that was an interesting one anyway really hope you guys enjoyed and that's it